Hello, hello, mom and dad meet world. Today we are working on my daughter's 2007 Honda Fit. We're going to check and refill her AC refrigerant in her car because she has noted that it is not really blowing all that cool now. So one of the first things you have to do is you have to get refrigerant. And if you'll notice here, I have a can of refrigerant that we've checked is the right one for my car. It actually comes with a gauge, which is pretty cool, and a hose with a trigger, which is even cooler. Uh, that is a quick connect adapter. They're, they're really not that expensive at the AutoZone or the O'Reilly's or whatever part store is near you. You're going to find and locate your low pressure hose right there. You see it's got an L on the gray cap. There's a little teal cap behind it that says H, which is high. Do not hook it to the high. Make sure you get the gray cap on the top that is L for low. It just unscrews about three threads, four threads by hand, real, real loose. See, there's the L. As you can see, I, um, I'm doing a voiceover here, so... Bear with me as the engine noise was kind of loud while I was doing this. Um, this cap or this piece right here is the quick connect adapter. You just use your fingers and pull it back. It snaps right over top of the low pressure gauge. So you're going to pull that back and push it right down over top and it'll pop in and lock. So this is me doing this all solo. See, I just pushed that nozzle down, push, popped it on and it, and, it, and it locked right in. So now you're going to tilt that can of refrigerant um, upside down when you go to Fill it, but first you're gonna check your gauge and see where it's actually running. Now in our car, um, my car has been warming up per the instructions for about the last five minutes. It's warm on the dash and my refrigerant is running um, on high blast inside. My AC is running on high um, so that my compressor is kicking on and everything is cycling. So that was me tipping the refrigerant back and forth right there. So I tipped the refrigerant back and forth and then I tipped it upside down to see where it's registering on my gauge. Um, I'm going to show you guys here a couple times where I just shake it up upside down, make sure it, it is a, is it a compressed gas? So you want to make sure that you're spraying the, the refrigerant into your car and not just, you know, empty air. Um, your, this gauge I have has an ambient temperature gauge as well as, and it's, it's really blurry here. I apologize guys. I'm going to give you a better shot of this here in just a minute. So with this particular gauge, it says 70, 80, 90 degrees in the bottom for what side it is out, what air temperature it is outside. So I've set that dial and now I'm looking to get my refrigerant in between the red V that looks kind of like a pie slice on that screen when the AC is refrigerant has kicked off, making sure that when it's kicked on, I'm not spiking over there into the red zone. Um, every car has a slightly different pressure and a different fill recommendation. Uh, my daughter's when I first started this, it was below the 25, it was at the edge of the white. Um, I've already squeezed the trigger a couple times. And so um, you're gonna see that as I tip it upside down one or two more times, it's just gonna stay right there on the edge to the left of the pie zone. Um, and then as the refrigerant kicks on, it'll, it, it spikes to the right, um, more towards the 45 or 50, but it does not pass anywhere outside of that, um, that green zone. And so that is all it took to refill her refrigerant. From here, I just unhooked the car. So to unhook that clip, all I did was push down and then pull up at the bottom to do the quick release. I screw that low pressure cap right back on. The car's running this entire time, you guys. And then I just went inside and I checked to see how cool the cool air was. I put my hand in front of the dash. It's, it's pretty obvious if the AC is running on high and you put your hand in front of it, it's, it's nice and cold. Absolutely beautifully done. Start to finish, this whole thing took me roughly, probably 90 seconds if I wasn't shooting this video after my car was warmed up and I had all my tools assembled. Totally a one person job. Good luck. Please do this at your own risk because I am not a certified ASC mechanic and we are definitely, definitely not suggesting that you don't go to a shop, but it is cheaper to do things at home these days and it is definitely an easy DIY situation.